last week at the New York State Wireless Association event in New York City, um, Jonathan Adelstein, who's a former FCC commissioner and current CEO of the Wireless Infrastructure Association, was quoted as saying, New York City is the wireless envy of the world. What are your thoughts on that comment? Yeah, so, so you know, certainly depends on who you ask and what carriers you're, you're, you're aligned with. But um, clearly, New York City has a huge capacity problem today. From, from my perspective, right? And and it's it the the vision I think is great. I mean there's the the mayor's office has uh, has has shown real commitment to to uh, propagating broadband and it's going to be uh, wired and wireless broadband uh, connectivity. Um, so I think the vision is great, but we have a long way to go. We have to build a massive infrastructure here to support this density. You know, Manhattan f grows from two million to three and a half million people every day. You know, during the workday, right? There's there's not enough capacity to support the areas of Manhattan uh, with the two million people. You know, let alone the three and a half million it balloons to every day. So we have a lot of work to do. And you know, I've been to uh, you know cities throughout the U.S. And, 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 and clearly New York has a lot of capacity, needs a lot more. Um, European cities I've been to, I, I've, I've felt that the coverage was better. You, you know, you know I, I remember walking around Amsterdam last year or, or Barcelona uh, last year and, and just feeling like I had wireless connectivity in a lot more places than I have it here in New York. So do you think in part the holdup is or, or the uh, clearly, the complexity that people are solving here does make it the envy of the world, but in terms of the, the quality of experience, it might fall a little bit short. Do you think, uh, going back to the question about the franchise agreements, do you think the city should address some of these franchise agreement issues sooner versus later to help lower the cost so you can have dense networks? Yeah, I, I, I think, I, first of all, I think the, the city ha has the right view on this and they will address it. You, you know, it's clear to me that they have a vested interest in making this the most connected city in, in the U.S., if not, not the world. Um, the franchise agreement's a, a piece of the, the puzzle, though. Um, we need, uh, there's a significant capital expenditure that has to happen um, o over the next, you know, five, ten years to, to bring this to reality. So franchise process is just a piece, uh, piece of the puzzle. Got it. Ray, thanks for your time. Great. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate the opportunity.